So we say if MySQL num rows um, of query that we've run, so query run equals zero, um, then we need to return true. Remember, we're taking um, a return value of true, so we can use this function later in an if statement. Else, if MySQL num rows query run equals one return in fact I've got this the way, wrong way around so if it does equal zero return false if it equals one return true so if if the if um, we get a value back then we're returning true so the IP address already exists now this is slightly flawed what if the same IP address exists in the database now we could say is e greater than or equal to one which would be better we don't need to do this because our processing later on in the program is going to allow us to only add the IP address if it already exists or if it doesn't exist so if my SQL num rows query run equals zero return false the IP address does not exist else if my SQL num rows of query run are greater than or equal to one then we return true because the IP address does exist now there's a faster way to do this because what we need to do is we're running the MySQL num rows function twice so we're slowing down the speed of our program very slightly but you know significantly in terms of if you had a lots of lots of uh, SQL you'd be uh, overloading a server so I'm gonna say query um, num rows equals I'm just going to take this here and put it into a variable in itself. So we're only running this once, and then what we can do is delete this as well and say query num rows, query num rows. That's just a little tip for when you're using lots of uh, lots and lots of things like this. Don't include these in if statements or anywhere else or in any loops. Create them in a um, in a separate variable first. So now let's check if this works. So down here we can say if IP exists and then we specify a, a user IP in here, do something, otherwise do something else. So if IP exists, remember we're supplying user ID, this will be equal to 127.0.0.1. If it exists, echo exists. Otherwise, echo doesn't exist. I've used my uh, escaping character there because I've used a, um, a single quotation mark inside a single quotation mark. Let's refresh the page and see what happens. Exists. Now, this is telling me that my current IP exists in the database, which it does. Now, let's delete that from there manually come back to the page and refresh and it says doesn't exist so our program um, is working this uh, if statement here we've used the use of a function so we haven't had to program anything before it other than functions and this is creating our code to look a lot tidier a lot neater and it's going to work a lot efficiently a lot more efficiently when we're looking at it and uh, producing the final code so now we've got everything we need all we need to do is we need to perform this if statement and um, we need to just say if the IP doesn't exist then um, increase the counter so we can just use the exclamation mark before this function if IP doesn't exist we can just echo out um, this will now add um, count plus one so now what we can say is refresh this will now add count plus one because our IP address is not in the table. So uh, obviously we're not going to be echoing this out, that's just to represent what's going to happen. So our IP address doesn't exist, what do we need to do? We need to add the IP address and update the count. So all we simply do is update count and add IP, or is it IP add? Yep, yeah. IP add user IP and that's it this line has incorporated our three fun or this uh, block of or this piece of code rather has incorporated our three functions and it's put them um, it's it's first of all made a check 
using a function. Then it's updated the count using a function and then it's added our IP address. So now let's check if this works. Um, I'm going to add just a header down here uh, just to make everything look pretty. Well, not pretty, but just so we know that there's content on our page. So let's uh, look at the database. Hits count currently is equal to zero and hits IP currently doesn't have any rows in. You can see that I've got this like red little white arrow with a red circle around it. So now let's refresh the page. We've got my page up. Now, because my IP doesn't already exist in the database, we should have updated the count and added my IP in, ready for the next check when I come onto the page again. So hits IP, we can see that we've got my IP address being inserted into the database, and hits count will be updated by one. Now let's refresh the page again. That's done. Let's return here. Hits count is still equal to one, and my IP address is already in the database. So what we've done is we've used three different functions. So we've kept our code nice and tidy. And what we've then done is we've checked if an IP exists. We've add, we've created some code or some SQL to insert an IP. And we've also created some code to update the count value. Now, like I said before, this isn't the quickest and easiest way to do this but the amount of time we've spent developing certain parts of it means that you know exactly how to do things the long way round. Therefore, when it comes to working the short way round, you'll be absolutely fine handling it.